Hello and welcome to a new video about my studio light. I want to... Well, actually this is not about the studio light. Well, this is actually to, to make it a little bit more comfortable to enter uh, those things like network and so on. Yeah. So I want that if we cannot connect to a network that we are acting as an access point. This I want to realize now. First of all, I'm going to clean out somehow a little bit those display things. These display things, I had not done it pretty well, yeah, because here those stuff I could immediately do. Huh? I could immediately do after setup, after I realized, okay, everything is all right with the display. I will I will set those stuff even before here why not set those stuff uh, uh, size one yes this is looking good and uh what else this C C P where is this it is Then this is left, this is good, this is now much shorter. And here, right, this is good. This is good, I guess, uh, should be sufficient. Good, so I have set this now somewhere and then I will not I will constantly check if everything is alright with the display. No? Here, where is this timed out? Timed out, right? Here, zack. Every time Wi-Fi is timed out, I will check here if bit read status byte. Start display. Uh, display dot clear display. I will clear this display. I will set cursor and uh, display dot display at the end and in between. If uh, bit read status byte start Wi-Fi connected. Yeah. So if we are connected, I will write a uh, display dot print line station mode connected then we know we're in station mode connected yeah? and display dot print line or print uh, make a print line and see IP address I still will print out the IP address and this is display dot print line and this was Wi-Fi local IP. This is good. And else I will just shut not connected. Alright, so this will be updated every time and then I can forget about it. I'm looking for display now. This I can't forget. No, this not. This is okay. Here. IP address. This I don't no longer need. This will be automatically display. Yeah. Up here. Display is okay. Display is okay. This display is also okay. Here this I will not 
I will no longer need because I will do this centralized, the central position. All right. Okay, this is looking good. Now we should we should see this 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 display. All right. So actually, what else? Yeah, I need somehow to distinguish if we're in station mode or not. Yeah? So I will add a new a new in my status byte. I will add a new one yeah? here. I will say define state use access point is five. And now I need to do uh, some things. I need to do some things. At the display. Let's let's start with the display. Yeah. So if bit read use access point else this I immediately shift in. I could have done this before. Alright. Also here shift this in. And mm, what I'm going to write access point mode. I will print the number of clients, clients connected. I will make this. Yeah. We can do this. Yeah. Display dot print by a Wi-Fi. Soft AP. Uh, what is the correct um, get get station get station numbers? Right. This I think this is this is correct. Get station numbers. Then we should see the number of clients and the IP address is not the local IP address, it's from soft uh, IP, this one, it's from the access point IP. And here we will display simply the same thing but access point mode not connected. Good, so this, this is that. Uh, we have to do a little bit more. We have to do a little bit more. Here, if we are here, here we do, we want to be connected to Wi-Fi. So if we also have to make here bit read status byte, use access point, then we have to do something else. Else, we are adding this what we what we had here. Yeah, this. This stuff. So if we are not in access point mode, nothing has changed. If we are in access point mode, uh, we do here the same. If we are connected, Wi-Fi check time, set timeout, pretty long timeout, should be okay, 5000 should be okay, uh, and then here pretty much the same, uh, status of Wi-Fi is access point connected okay and we will digital right the Wi-Fi LED set it to high now the Wi-Fi LED is lit and else if we are not connected we want to be connected and we are not connected we call connect Wi-Fi so pretty much the same 
as, as happened here, connect Wi-Fi. Good, I think that's, that's it for this, for this part. Uh, in connect Wi-Fi we also have to adapt a little bit. Of course, we have to adapt a little bit. So we're coming in here. Here we have to check if we're in station mode, we don't want to connect. So here we have to add something. If bit read status byte start use access point, then we need to do something else, else we leave it as before. We leave it as before and what do we do if we are in access point mode? Well, then uh, we say Wi-Fi dot uh, soft access point and now I'll, I will use a name Studio Light, that's the SSID, and a password. I will not set a password up to now. Yeah. And we will set that we have connected. Start Wi Fi connecting. Connecting. We will set connecting and set this timeout to 500. Good. Good, good. I think that's that's sufficient. Uh, so if we're coming in, we are not connected. It says connect Wi-Fi. We're not connected. We're starting the access point, and with a certain with a certain SSID and null password, and say we are connecting. And if we are connecting here, we also have to change a little bit. Yeah? So we will also do it here if bit read status byte start use access point we have to do something else and else we have to do what we did last time this whole stuff this whole stuff all right so this is now the same. And what if we are in access point mode? What should we shall we do here? Also timed out. Ah uh, info info. We'll simply print out access point created. Then we will set this uh, Wi-Fi LED to high and we'll set bit set the status status byte to connected. So first we are connecting, now we're just printing out. Uh, and we will start the web server. We the web server needs also to be started. Where is this? Ooh, this was wrong. Actually, this was wrong. I should have used this whole stuff here. That's correct. That's correct because this this connection of this web server this still needs to be inside here. If we are not connected here, we say then okay, connect. We are connected to Wi-Fi. Connected. Uh, digital right. Connected. To clear the connecting, you have to clear. This is this is exactly the same thing I need to do here. Right. 
Okay, so that's that's it. Uh, so if we're in access point mode now, how to get to access point mode? How to get there? But I hope this work this working. I will add a new counter whenever whenever we are not able to connect to 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 Wi-Fi network as a client, then we don't know obviously. But I cannot do it. I will make an auto switch, auto switch access points, and let's say we try every every address three times, at least three times. Then we need somehow a counter. Where to put this here? Why not? Byte. Wi-Fi try. Wi-Fi try. Good. Uh, when do I have to set this Wi-Fi try to zero? If we disconnect. Yeah, maybe a bunch of other stuff. Ah, I will do this on demand. Okay, so connect Wi-Fi, blah 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 blah. Here, here we are. Yeah. Not access point. Here, we are not connected. Here, Wi-Fi disconnect. Okay, could not connect. Uh, I will write here. This was try. And I will write zero dot print line Wi Fi try plus one. Good. And if Wi Fi try greater or equal a uh, auto switch access point. Then we set bit set uh, status status byte start use use access point and we will immediately flash this to to the eprom eprom dot put at the offset of the of the status. Status byte. Flash this to the EEPROM and on the ESP we have to call EEPROM commit. Good. Next try. This is maybe also not a good idea that we are writing this. If Wi Fi greater or equal. Auto switch well right switching to AP mode. But then we only have then to find out where here after this while. Because then we try three three possible if last used address equals zero, Wi-Fi try plus plus. Or counter, counter. Hmm. Hmm. Let's try to build this. See if the build is working. Okay, compiling was, was a success. However, I have still an error in here. Here is the station mode. Look at it. This. this we cannot do here. This we cannot do here. Yeah. 
we can't do here. We only after after we read the status here allocation phase blah, 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 blah. status after readout ba here here ah uh, we have to distinguish if bit read status status byte start use access point here we say Wi-Fi mode station. Wi-Fi try zero. And here we say Wi-Fi mode is Wi-Fi access point. Let's see where we set everywhere this Wi-Fi mode. Hmm. If we are in station mode, I have to call this connect Wi-Fi. This automatic changeover, this automatic changeover, there must be, I also have to set somehow. I'm just creating it somewhere. Where, is, where was this creating? Soft AP. Just creating it. I have to set the Wi-Fi station mode as well. Wi-Fi dot and here I have to set it to Wi-Fi station. Mm -hmm. I think that's better. Now we should be able that this is automatic switch. Well, I will, I will upload this. I will upload this to here. Let's see. Access point created. It's already created access point. Why is it already created access point? Ah, probably this set was already okay. I want to see the automatic changeover. Here must be print line. I want to see the automatic changeover, so I'll clear this out after reading. Let's see if this is then working. Bit clear here. Clear this. Probably this is set in in the in in the EEPROM. So clear it out. See if this is changing something. Because I actually want to see that we automatically automatically change to to access point mode. So I want to try. Connecting the test SSID. Should not work. Then we should see the try. This was try one. Test SSD two. Okay. This was try. I should not print line this. I can fix it on the fly. Oh, so try one. Yeah, okay. So it tried the first SSID one time, tried the second SSID one time. And now I hope it's written try to. Yeah, try to. Try to. 
This should also be try 2, then there must be try 3, and then maybe there's a try 4 also, but uh, only with one address, I think. And then we should switch to access point mode. Station mode not connected. Okay, it's also written on the display. It's good. Try 3, yes. Next try, try to connect the test SSID. Switching to access point mode. Access point created, web server started. Hooey! Okay, and actually, if I look here, studio light. There's the studio light. Connect. Then we should see here a B mode client. Hopefully. Come on. No connection with this network possible. Why not? Ah, number of clients one. This is a written number one. And this is no connection possible. Probably some stupid Windows security. Hey, this is not secure. But it says one client is connected. Who is that? Let's simply try. No. Maybe my telephone, which is connected. <laughs> no. Can internet? No internet open. Okay, now it seems also Windows accepted the connection, but I've not done anything, right? And now. Uh huh. Ah! I even get the web, the web page. Do you remember able to? Yes, I'm able to adjust. Takes a while, for whatever reason. Oh, now it's working better. All right. <laughs> It's working. It's working. We just created. We just created a web, an access point, where we can access if we are not. Oh, set and ladder failure. Why is this? Did we disconnect here somehow? No. I believe. All right. working. Maybe some issues are still inside, but all right, all right, all right, all right. Good. Uh, now we have to set up here somehow a user interface. Uh, a user interface that we can you know, enter SSID and so on, and everything is you can configure those stuff. Yeah, that we are now able to access this st stuff via web interface, and we want to enter our SSID, our password, and so on, so that we are in local area network that we don't have to connect here. However, therefore, I want them to use not my my simple impl 
simple things which I have uh, coded, though not the simple uh, um, web server. I want to use a ready uh, out of the box web server, this asynchronous web server, which actually, well, I will change simply the way we handle web pages. Hopefully, then these connection issues and so on, they will be better afterwards as well. All right, all right. So next time, other web server interface. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.